What's up, YouTube? We have a January 9th through January 11th edition of Motown Mail. Quite a bit of crap, uh, considering this is only three days worth of mail. Uh, so I better get uh, better get started on it. But first off, I did want to show this off. This is that cut autograph uh, that I showed you guys last week. The Gabby Hartnett, former uh, Cubs catcher, Hall of Fame catcher from the 20s and 30s. Uh, got that finally, or not finally, it took me a couple days to complete that. <laughs> um, so I got the nice looking vintage photo. Real crisp looking photo, not blurry at all, and the the mat, and then I bought myself a frame, and I love how it turned out, very, very happy, so, uh, nice piece there for the Cubs, uh, Cubs collection. Um, first off, 2006-2007, uh, UD Hardcourt, rookie auto of Raptors center, Andrea Bargnani, former first, uh, first overall pick. Um, having a really good year this year. He's on my fantasy basketball team, which, by the way, is in first place right now. Um, Barniani's averaging about 23, 24 points a game and about seven boards, which is actually up from his um, previous season. So hopefully Mr. Barniani can uh, keep that up. So first uh, first certified auto of him. So number 56 of 399 as well in the upper left-hand corner. A little bit uh, hard to see, though. Moving on, I got uh, quite a bit of Michael Turner stuff. Um, only one autograph, it being from 2010 Don Russ Classics, Significant Signatures. And this puppy's numbered three of five, or five of five, I'm sorry. So five of five on the Michael Turner Significant Signatures from 2010 Don Russ Classics. So nice Turner that I didn't, did not have. Um, Finally won one of these. I think I was outbid on four of them. Um, and then they were going way too high in my opinion. But uh, I got this nice two-color, three-color of Michael Turner and Jaquez Rogers from Bowman Sterling, number 14 of 25. So pretty nice right there. And I got this one for about half of what they uh, they were going for. And then I, I saw a couple that have ended since I won this one, and they've went... Uh, you know, 15 bucks, and I paid, I think, 7 or 8 for this one, so. Happy you got that, a nice little deal on that one. Um, from 2011, Crown Royale, number 48 of 50, Kings of the NFL. already had this uh, this uh, patch, and it's actually only a two-color, but I'll consider it a three-color because it's got grass stain. That's the only reason I bought it, is because it's got grass stain. And more than likely, the seller just went out into his yard and pulled some grass out of the yard and rubbed it on the jersey, but... I guess I'll never know. Um, but, yeah, that's the only reason I bought it, because of the grass stain, as, path as pathetic as that sounds. It's number 48 of 50. But five bucks, five or six bucks shipped. I'll take it. Um, from 2010, Rookies and Stars. I'm pretty sure I already had this card, uh, but it's a nice nameplate, patch, three color. Obviously, Michael Turner. And this puppy's number 42 of 50. So, pretty nice uh, three-color patch right there. And another one, I think this is an upgrade. I think my other one was two colors. This is a three-color from 2011 Rookies and Stars. The um, Longevity Green, numbered 17 of 99. So, there's the patch. There is the numbering. All right, that's it for Turner stuff. Uh, next... Excuse me. Um, next one from Zach. Nice autograph from Zach, right? Excuse me. Um, 9D Brown 9. I put his link below. He sent me a very nice note, which I read off camera. And phone ringing. And I want to answer it. My cell phone will probably ring. So I'll just ignore that when it rings. Um, but uh, Zach sent me a nice Christmas present um, that I already opened. I wasn't sure if I was open, supposed to open it on cam, but I didn't. Um, very nice in-person autograph from Mr. Ryan Sandberg. At first I thought this was a 1983 rookie card signed, um, but it's actually a Danbury Mint porcelain card. Um, it's very fragile. If I drop this, it would break out of the top loader. So, um, a very interesting piece. I definitely did not have anything like this in my collection, Zach. I really, 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 really appreciate uh, the gesture and... And, um, sorry, someone just came home. And, um, your friendships. I really, really appreciate that, my friend. 
and Merry Christmas, belated. I participated in a private signing for uh, one of my 1990s score uh, cards. Um, as much as uh, um, Alec Boy does not want him in the Hall of Fame, he probably will get there next year. <laughs> uh, Jack Morris, I don't think he belongs either. I think there's a whole plethora of players that don't belong. Um, but uh, decided to get this before his prices went up when he gets into the into the Hall. So, I mean, he won 254 games for the Tigers. Um, so, yeah, got that for the... Uh, 1990 score set. Um, Hall of Famer uh, TTM success. Um, won 200 and 220, 230 games in the majors, and then went on to have a political career as the senator of Kentucky, one of the senators in, of Kentucky. Jim Bunning signed two cards. Uh, when he was actually in the in Senate, uh, he only signed for Kentucky residents, but since uh, his retirement, he has been signing for the other states, so lucky us. So, nice uh, return from Hall of Famer and former Senator Jim Bunning. Um, got these real cheap. Uh, I think six bucks for all three of them. Uh, the main reason I got it was for this Fresh Ink Auto 2008-2009 Skybox of Bulls backup point guard C.J. Watson, who's out right now with an elbow injury. Hopefully he'll come back um, within the next couple games. So nice, uh, nice autograph of C.J. Watson. Um, first card signed I have of Denver Nuggets point guard Andre Miller. I have an index card signed of him when uh, he got it when he went to the University of Utah. Uh, so nice card. That's actually an on-card autograph too. And I got this uh, J.J. Hickson power forward uh, for the Sacramento Kings, who's you know, he's having a decent year, seven point seven boards a game uh, in this young season. So. Rookie Auto, too. So, like I said, I pretty much got those for two bucks shipped each. So, all from the same seller, obviously. Finally, two more TTM successes. Um, guys that just had a cup of tea, or a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. I guess cup of tea. Cup of, cup of tea in the majors. Um, first off, Larry Burkhart. He uh, played in 29 games for the 1969 Cleveland Indians. Signed this 1970 Tops card. And a pair of index cards. So, got that from Larry. I think it's Larry Burkhart. It might be Burchart, but we're going to say Burkhart. Um, and finally, two cards from former uh, Pirate and former Padre. Ed Acosta played uh, three seasons in the Major Leagues. I think he went 6-9. and nine. Um, Signed a pair of 1973 Tops cards and two index cards. So what's interesting about his signature, though, is he actually puts baseballs in his signature. I mean, it, you can probably see them, but hang on. I thought I'd uh, point them out. You got one baseball right here. You got one right here. You got one right here. And you got one over here. So very interesting autograph from Ed Acosta. Um, I've been reorganizing a lot of my... Uh, base cards and I ran across those. I ran across several vintage cards that I sent out, just decided to send them out. So got those back within a week. So that is it. That's all I got for now guys. I want to thank you all for watching and as always please stay safe.